Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you in this video how to add a node in Ansible Tower and also I'm going to show you deletion of node from Ansible Tower and I will also going to show how you're going to run ad hoc command from Ansible Tower and running playbook from Ansible Tower, right? So first thing when you see my screen here currently I have four nodes here you can able to see four nodes which I have added and I have two inventory and there are two projects which I have already created and added into this Ansible Tower and down below you can able to see some graph here about successful and failed where I have ran some playbook and ad hoc command that is why this graph you can able to see and if I scroll it down a little you can able to see the recent use template which I have used and the activity about those template and also something about the recent job run right so those are the information you can able to see so let me just click on the host first and you can able to see that for host which is currently added the one local host which is nothing but my Ansible Tower server and that is why it says local host and the other three system is about the FTP server from where actually I'm going to download some uh, configuration file some template configuration file that is why I have added that server and other two servers are just in client system which is nothing but my node 1 and node 2 right so if I go to again to dashboard and click on inventory I can able to see there are two inventory which is available so one is about the host and another one is the demo inventory which is default created when I have installed my Ansible Tower now if I click on host that is my group actually and you can able to see there are two hosts which is three hosts sorry which is already added so first two are node 1 and node 2 and third one is FTP servers so what I'm going to do now I'll just delete this to node node 1 and node 2 which was mentioned in IP address so instead of IP address I'm going to add them as host them right so let me just delete them from here okay and that is done so now if I go back to inventory I can still see the host information if I go back to tower again it says two inventory but now it says two host because I have deleted two hosts right so first thing what I have to do is I need to add host the one which I have just deleted for adding a host what I have to do is I can go to directly inventory right and from here I can be able to add it so to add that host what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get inside my host inventory and that is my group name okay and in this group I'm going to add that two host so first host is my node one right ensure that this name is resolving okay so node 1 client system or probably in civil client I would say and you have to save it so let me just save that and I can see the node 1 is added and let me just refresh it and it still shows that fine and if I go back and again click on inventory and again on host I still see this information that's good and if I click on add host again I again get this information let me just add those add the other node as well node 2 and civil client and let me save it okay so it has added 
and if I go to inventory here and again click on host I can see there are three hosts which is added in the, inside this group excellent so this is how you'd be able to add the group so now I would need to run the the playbook and also some other commands so for running and playbook you would be able to use two method okay so if I go to project here right and I can see there are two projects which is created one is demo project and type you can able to see this is a git it is basically going to github and from there it is running a playbook right and you can able to see some other information about deletion of this project and also you can able to sync if you just click on that it will going to sync it you can able to see this button is still working in progress and it is trying to get the latest update from github so it is done and the other one you can see there is no color here it is basically a manual type of playbook which I'm using right so in my Ansible tower I have one playbook that playbook I'm going to run it on my client system so for view the information about the projects and the playbook which is using by this project you can click on that and here you'll be able to see the detailed information so here you can able to see the ACM URL it is going default to github and from there it is fetching a playbook and for my first project if I click on this I can be able to see some information that this is the name this is the playbook which I'm using okay so this is the directory I'm using for my playbook and it's a manual type of playbook I'm using and there are some information about my projects so to run that what I can do is I can come to this space and from here I just need to click on demo projects right and once I click on demo project I can scroll it down right and from here I have to create demo project here I have to click on that okay so one second I think from I have to go to template I believe yes not in project so in template I have to come and you can see the activity about my projects so once it is successful and once it is failed so that is something about the activity you can do, you could be able to see here and you can able to see there is one rocket button right you can able to initiate or launch your playbook by clicking this button so let me just click this button and see what it happened and you can able to see something is happening and status in the left panel you can able to see some detailed information about the playbook and it is currently running and it, it is using the default template this one demo job template and launched by admin because I logged in as admin and inventory it used the demo inventory which project it used which playbook it used and some other information about the jobs and in the right panel you can able to see the output of your playbook so I can able to see that this is nothing but an hello world message playbook it's a simple test hello world playbook so you can able to see that this has ran on my local host and it has given the hello world message and to see that in details you can probably expand clicking on this button and you'd be able to see the information here right so this is about the ACM type of playbook which I have ran it from github right and how about the other type which is manual and I have a local playbook I'm going to run it and how it looks like when I run it and whether it is going to successful or not let me just try so again what I have to do is I just need to come to template here 
and I need to click on demo template just to show you some details about my job template and inventory you can able to see I have added the inventory which is host host group right and here I have added three nodes you can probably remember the node 1 node 2 and the other one is FTP server and the project name is first project which I have selected and the playbook is not nothing but the HTTP dot YML so here what it is trying to do is it is trying to install HTTP server and it will try to configure HTTP server and there are three types of job type which is nothing but run that means um, directly going to run this playbook on the system or the nodes which is inside this host group and there are two other options which is check check is nothing but your syntax checks for your playbook so if I just select check it will nothing nothing but going to check for the syntax for my HTTP.YML right and if there is any error I would be able to see that and also there is something called scan which is nothing but kind of a dry run you would be, you'd be able to do so for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the run and I'm going to run that playbook to my all three client node right and there are some other information if you would like to see just scroll it down and you would be able to see so now to run that job template what I'm going to do I'm just running it from here itself so I can see the button here the rocket button right so let me just click on that and see if my playbook successful or not and currently it is trying to log into all the three system and trying to install the HTTPD so you can able to see the sum output right so the setup it can be able to it could be able to fetch the information for all the three system let me just expand this one and it is trying to install the HTTP package now on node 1 and node 2 and node 1 and node 2 it is already installed that is why it says ok ok right and, and currently it is trying to check my third server which is FTP server and trying to install the package on that and let's wait for some time to see how it goes and looks like the package is already installed in there that is good and my playbook is successful and it ran successfully and you can able to see the content change only happen on FTP servers and starting or restarting the HTTP servers is done on all the three system so that looks good and let me just see the information here the detailed information about my playbook you can see it's in green and it ran on this time started on this time and finished on this time and the other information about my playbook so this is how you'd be able to run playbook in Ansible Tower so now how about the edit command so how we are going to run edit command for that you just need to go to inventory and you can specifically check for servers for example I wanted to run a yum command just to see whether my FTP packages are installed in this system or not right so for that what I have to do is I just need to check or select the server here and if I just click on run command I get some information about the execute command and module details so here what I have to do is I need to select command or shell you'll be able to use both and the argument I can able to list something like that yum list vsftpd right so I just wanted to see whether vsftpd is installed in that system or not or I can probably give two server here, right? I wanted to check for this server as well. So let's see how it goes. And machine credential which I have to use is there are two credential I have currently. The one is project and the one is demo credential. So I'm using project one. And here you can able to see the varvus. You can enable the varvus output if you would like to see. I don't want to do 
so it's normal and now I can be able to execute ad hoc command from here just clicking on launch button and you can it is trying to log in or trying to fetch the information from my two system which is node 1 and FTP server so I think it's successful but looks like it ran on only one server I can see output for only one server but for the only for the FTP server but it did not go to other system and I can able to see this VS FTP package is installed right so I just need to check why it did not go for two system if I just click on here again and probably this time I'm going to select all the nodes and click on run command and see whether it is all selected right it is selected and let me just select a cell and DFFN is probably this time and limit I can see here it is all three servers currently selecting so it should go for all the three system let me select my machine credential and now if I try to launch it then it should go for all the three system you can see the limit here so let's see how it goes and looks like this time it went good and I can able to see the output for all the three system so here I can see the node 1 output for DFFNH this is for node 2 and this is for my FTP service excellent so this is how you'd be able to use your Ansible tower and you can able to see how easy to run a command and also playbook from Ansible tower wherever I go wherever I see I'll remember you if you remember